What do the aftermath of a disastrous South American nightclub fire, an island nation off the west coast of Africa, and the world's largest healthcare system have in common? Connected Health and Global Med. Early in the morning of January 27, 2013, fire broke out in a nightclub in Santa Maria, Brazil, with as many as 2,000 people inside, most of them college students. Fireworks ignited by band members started the fire. 242 people died trying to escape. Another 100 were injured and they overwhelmed the local hospital. In Sao Paulo, the Albert Einstein Hospital answered the call for help. It flew a carry-on sized case, Global Med's transportable exam station to Santa Maria that would allow the physicians treating survivors to consult with specialists. I started to work with telemedicine a few months before the nightclub fire in Santa Maria. When I became aware of what had just taken place, I made myself available to assist in the case. The fire happened on Saturday, and Monday morning I was already in Santa Maria. We provided support to the local university hospital in Santa Maria, leaving the doctor around the clock with the Global Med telemedicine system available to connect to many medical professionals and specialists. What we really do in telemedicine is to transfer knowledge via technology. We were able to connect Santa Maria directly to Albert Einstein Hospital and various places around the world. United States, Iraq, Japan, various specialists that had prior experience in handling similar cases with fire, and specifically fire in nightclubs. The KISS nightclub ceiling was covered with a thick foam that released a toxic, cyanide-filled smoke that many of the young crowd present inhaled the smoke. The precise treatment was only possible via the use of telemedicine. And they used this small camera, Global Med's Total Exam 2, to acquire digital images of victim skin so that Sao Paulo could send graphs that matched skin tones to Santa Maria. Nearly 3,700 miles away in the Atlantic Ocean, the nation of Cape Verde is home to 500,000 people who live on nine of the 10 islands. Travel to the two large hospitals on the main island of Santiago is expensive and limited to one or two flights and ferry rides each day. Faced with the inconvenience and cost of transportation, residents delayed going to the main hospitals until health problems became serious. At the request of the government, the International Virtual E-Hospital Foundation designed and implemented a telemedicine program for Cape Verde. And now, Global Med First Exam mobile telemedicine stations are in place on each of the outlying islands where residents can see a physician on Santiago without actually going there. What this means is that if the doctors on the island of Brava have a more complicated situation, they can consult their specialist colleagues at the hospitals on the main island of Santiago and be more at ease because of it. In one case, a pregnant woman was able to see her baby for the first time during an ultrasound exam. Another patient learned that he had a tooth abscess when a dentist on Santiago conducted a remote oral exam. Here in this country, there are more than 20 million veterans of the U.S. Armed Forces. As part of our commitment to their service, the VA provides them with health care. To handle the numbers of service veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan, the VA embarked on a robust telemedicine program in community-based outpatient clinics and urban medical centers. The VA modeled its program on global med systems, including a solution for veterans with hearing loss. It was kind of interesting. It was as though Mr. Herring was Dr. Haber's hands and eyes. Once that was done, it was time for me to take a step back and let Dr. Haber drive. Okay, Mr. Rinaldi. What's going to happen next is I'm going to assume control over all the equipment you see on that card so I can interact directly with the audiological equipment and that way we can get the best settings. A distant audiologist can not only test a veteran's hearing at their local VA clinic, but can also adjust their hearing aids. Remarkably, the VA conducted 1.7 million telehealth visits in 2013, and many of them were done via live, real-time video consults with veterans who were sometimes hundreds of miles away from the physicians. But telemedicine programs are in place in many small towns in our country. The Copper Queen Community Hospital 
An acute care critical access hospital in the historic mining town of Bisbee, Arizona, has had a telemedicine program for more than five years. The first program that we had was a teletrauma program that's sponsored and run by uh, University Medical Center in Tucson. Then we were approached by the Mayo system in Phoenix uh, to participate in their telestroke program. And because that was, um, we really learned a lot from that telestroke program and kind of got the courage to go out on our own and start our own telemedicine programs. And so start Global Med Solutions offer Bisbee's 6,000 residents access to specialty care, whether they're in the clinic, the emergency department, or a hospital room. In one six-month period, the Copper Queen consults with a Tucson telecardiologist saved more than $500,000 in emergency transport of patients and evaluation costs at urban medical centers. These technologies are breaking down geographic and socioeconomic barriers. In Latin America, American doctors and medical students are able to see and treat patients and confer with colleagues in the United States on difficult cases. Dr. Mark Stavros takes a group of his Florida State medical students to rural areas of Panama. Patients come from great distances and begin lining up every morning. For some, this is the first time they have ever encountered a doctor. With a Global Med transportable exam station, the group was able to see patients and get input instantly from physicians back home. Even in large cities, there is a growing need for workplace health care and wellness. Humana has created a telemedicine suite at its offices in downtown Louisville, Kentucky, for use by its employees. With the help of a patient presenter, a doctor can examine employees without their having to leave the office. We try to take care of a lot of the urgent care types of things here, uh, as well as uh, chronic disease management. Uh, and I think that's the niche where we can uh, really increase uh, how easy it is for someone to come in and actually see us. All associates have access to the Wellbeing Center. It's $40 a visit, no charge for, for, visits, uh, for visits that are, uh, that are preventive. And, uh, and that puts us in a position to make it really, really convenient with a lot of access. Um, we've got a primary care doc that will be, that will be on point for this facility. Many companies are looking for ways to provide health care to their employees, especially in remote locations. Petrobras is a large oil and gas company based in Brazil. It pumps crude from below the Atlantic Ocean to more than 100 oil platforms. Employees spend weeks on those oil rigs. When they are injured or become ill, they can go to the platform clinic for very basic care. Should the problem be more serious, though, Someone must make a decision, fly the worker to the mainland or let him stay. The flight can cost tens of thousands of dollars. Using Global Med solutions on Petrobras oil platforms, a physician on shore can examine the patient and make the call for an emergency helicopter. Access to quality health care is a global challenge, one that Global Med is meeting every day.